Hey, when a woman is having a baby, there's usually a lot of focus on her, what she's experiencing, what she's feeling, what she's going through, and how to help her. But if dad's in the room, then he's going through a major life experience too, and there's not necessarily, from what I've heard, a lot of focus on helping him. If anything, when dad's standing there watching mom in that much pain, um, I've heard a lot of dads say that they felt helpless and they wish they had known more about what they could do. And so I thought I would share in this video five things that my husband did uh, while we were having our baby that made a world of difference. I was so glad that he was there. These things were so helpful. Um, so top five things that my husband did and just so you know, um, he actually did such a good job that after the fact he was told by our medical professionals that he should consider becoming a male doula. In other words, he did such a good job that they were saying he should become a professional birth coach. Um, kind of cool. So I'm really proud of him. Here are the five things that really helped to make a difference. Number five. He helped me to keep my energy up by helping me to stay hydrated, making sure that I got snacks and that I took opportunity to rest when it presented itself. It's really easy when you're in labor to get distracted and actually forget to eat or drink. And if you're just trying to get through contractions, then if you've done something like put on Netflix or started walking around, when there's breaks in between contractions, you can actually forget, oh, maybe this is an opportunity to just rest for a bit. And so the fact that he was doing his best to offer me water and snacks, even if I wasn't accepting them, I sometimes just didn't even realize he was offering, but the fact that he was doing it made a really big difference. Um, between all the things that he was able to get into me and the times that I did rest, um, it helped to make sure that I had the energy needed to make it through the long haul. Number four. He stayed close and he kept a hand on me. Uh, I needed some space at some points because if I was walking around and had an IV pole attached to me, it was a little bit harder to stay in physical contact. Uh, but when the contractions got stronger, I became very internally focused and wasn't able to tell you know, who was in the room at any given time necessarily or where they were. And so he was there but if he was sitting in a chair then I wouldn't necessarily have registered that he was present and so the fact that he stayed close by and kept a hand on my shoulder or holding onto my hand or resting his hand on my leg helped me to know that he was there, he was present and just gave me a overall really reassured feeling which was amazing. Number three he reminded me frequently that I was doing a really good job. Uh, there was one point where I got really scared. Reason for it, our birth was not playing out the way that we had hoped for. We had birth hopes rather than a birth plan just because we knew that things don't always play out the way that you want them to. Um, but in my case I ended up needing oxytocin and I'd never had one of those little IV things put into my hand before. So that freaked me out a bit and I was trying to stay calm but then the oxytocin made my contractions really really strong and I already had back labor so when it made the back labor worse I kind of lost my mind. I started yelling like a viking. I was making a lot of noise and I was really focused on just this hurts. Again I turned sort of inwards. Um, so the fact that my husband was talking me through it and telling me that I was doing a really good job, um, just that reassuring voice made a huge difference. And I'll be honest, sometimes I couldn't even tell the words that he was saying, um, but it was that calm voice, the fact that he was there, and that I could tell he was trying to talk me through it, it made all the difference in the world. Number two, he helped to keep me safe. Uh, we had talked ahead of time about the things that we were hoping for during our birth, things that we wanted to have happen, things ideally that we didn't want to have happen. But we knew that at different points a medical professional might say we really feel that this needs to be done. It was really important to me, I wanted be, to be able to participate in my birth, not have things just happen to me. And so uh, my husband was making sure that if there were any things that needed to be done to me or done to our baby, that I understood what was going on, especially if I looked exhausted or distracted. He made sure that I registered what had been said to me. And our agreement was that just if it looked like something was about to be done that we weren't comfortable with, that he would step in and intervene. And just knowing that he was taking care of that, that he could see the picture better than I could because I was really internally focused, um, the fact that I knew he would step in if it was needed made me feel so much more safe and also just helped me to concentrate that much more on what I needed to do. And the number one thing that my husband did that made all the difference in the world was he was just there. Um, I don't have words to explain how important that was to me and what a difference that made. Um, 
but just the fact that he was there for the long haul, I was in hard labor for approximately 20 hours, and that's really tough for him. 20 hours of watching me being in that state and walking through all the different transitions um, when our birth hopes are started to fall apart just a little bit, our plans had to change. Um, he was there for the entire thing and it could have been really easy for him to say he needed a break and to just go um, to turn on a TV and just watch a game or you know pull out his PSP and start playing a game but instead uh, because I couldn't take a break he didn't take a break either he stayed with me for the whole thing um, I'll let you know one other thing. I ended up experiencing a medical emergency just after our son was born. Um, I lost a little over a liter of blood due to hemorrhaging and so I had to stay in the hospital for an extra two days. My husband stayed with me the first night and the next day, because he was on this cool but sort of awfully horribly uncomfortable little pull-out couch bed in my room, um, he didn't get much sleep. I had packed an overnight bag for the hospital just in case, but we just didn't think of this. We didn't pack an overnight bag for him. <laughs> so we were talking about, well, you know, why don't you go home, get some sleep, grab a shower, do what you need to do, and do you mind just coming back tonight because I don't want to be in the hospital alone by myself overnight. Um, and so we talked about that, we agreed on it, and then he thought for just a few minutes and then he told me, no, I'm going to stay. And back, <laughs> and that still makes me emotional, um, just because I that's what I needed to hear, and I didn't even realize it. I wasn't testing him. I wasn't doing a oh yeah you can go now. I'm gonna wait and see what he says. And oh he went home. He failed the test. Nothing like that. Um, it made all the sense in the world. Go home, get some rest, grab a shower, grab your toothbrush. Um, but when he said that he was gonna stay. There was just something in me that was so, so, so happy and I felt so much better. Um, he actually ended up staying two nights in the hospital, so three days, two nights with no change of clothes, no toothbrush, no nothing, sleeping on this horribly uncomfortable chair and I couldn't have felt more loved. Um, I felt so taken care of and that was such an amazing start for our family. Um, so just don't underestimate your presence, just being there. Um, even if you feel like I can't do anything to make it better, even if you know she's in a lot of pain and it seems like that's not changing, you being there is making all the difference in the world. So I hope that your childbirth experience is a positive one. Just know that you being there is making it better and all the best.